meantime, you don't have any power to remove yourself out of it because you have to play the script because it's an image. The image needs to continue doing what it does. It means you have to live your destiny, whatever that is. There is nothing in this world to be afraid of. There is nothing in this world which is separated from you. There is nothing in this world that is not you. All of it is yourself. All of it is God. God is the only thing that exists. Is the only thing has ever existed. Everything you come across, you touch, you feel, you smell, you do, is all the presence of God. All of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the disease, the death, the life, the birth, the good people, the bad people. All of it is God. All of it is you. All of it is the one. It's all happening in God's imagination. It's all happening. It's a projection of the one self projecting everything continuously. And you start looking at it that way, you start examining the source of yourself, you begin to see the truth of who you are and your fear and worries. Everything starts to melt away because all of those fears, worries, concerns are coming from a sense of separation. It's coming from a notion that you're separated and that there is a you out there, helpless, that something can happen to it. There's a you separated from everything. All is very well. Everything is in very good hands. Thank God, Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, she is orchestrating everything, everything. Everything you see is happening is her will. It's her dance, it's her show. That's what she's doing. She's playing in this drama of life. Recognize that and you lose your fears. Yet, you still have to live this life, but you're no longer afraid. Fear disappears. And at this time, more than ever before, for us, it's really important that we spend time, we stop our busy life, and we go in silence. The more you go back into silence, the more your attention goes inwards towards the source of your thoughts. The more you go beyond your thoughts, the more you're quiet. The more everything comes down around you and in your neighborhood. You will be emanating peace and calmness, starting from yourself. The more you're in silence, not activating your mind, not listening to all these news, not listening to all these blah, blah, blah. The more you're calm and peaceful inside, the more you begin to see the truth of who you are. The more you come to your power, the more you recognize 
yourself, how mighty you are, how powerful you are, how huge you are, how big you are. That you're not insignificant. The truth of your totality starts to reveal itself. But that only happens from a silent, quiet mind. And we can see what's going on in the world. The minds are getting really busy. They're going crazy. They're in panic. It's because the mind are activated, agitated. In the midst of all this craziness, here's the Buddha. You are there, absolutely still, absolutely silent, not reacting to things while everyone else is running around and being going crazy. You're very still. This is another show of the Leela is playing another game, another show. You keep your attention on the truth of who you are. Now I'm not saying you be reckless. You don't take care of yourself, not keeping yourself healthy or not storing some water or some food or running out there and just doing all kinds of crazy things. That's not what I'm saying. In the world, of course, you're being cautious, but you're not of the world. You don't buy the story. You remain in your meditation. That's where your salvation is. You stay in the center of yourself. If there is no busy mind, there is no problem. When the mind is chaotic, then there is problem. The problem is not in the world, my brothers, sisters. This new epidemic, epidemia, that's not the problem. We're trying to fix things in the world and they don't work. That's not where the source of your problems are. The source of your problems is your own mind. You have to go beyond the mind where it's silent. Once you come to silence, there is no problems. You're perfectly fine with yourself wherever you are. And that's the path to liberation. Examine the subject. Challenge this idea of me, me, me. Go check it out. This I, this me. Go examine it. See how real is this one. And the more you dive into it and lo look into it, because if you go beyond that, when you're doing it, Every time you come to the silence, every time every, everything gets very quiet inside you. 